Dann äh, ja, würde ich jetzt an äh, meinen Kollegen, den Armin Banitzke, übergeben und äh, freue mich schon auf Thorsten Gröger und Sami Haddadin. Ja, wunderbar. Vielen Dank. Äh, Markus, ja, wir kommen von dem äh, Roboter, vom Cobot-Einsatz zu einem äh, anderen spannenden Thema, nämlich Thema Roboter-Software. Ein Thema, was sich hier jetzt auch durch die äh, Automatiker durchzieht. Äh, Thema Software in der Robotik wird immer wichtiger und ich freue mich sehr, dass wir Gelegenheit haben, so ein bisschen Einblick zu gewinnen, was denn der Google-Ableger Alphabet-Tochter Intrinsic zum ersten Mal auf der Messe, haben seit ein paar Jahren, sagen wir mal, so ein bisschen unter dem, so ein bisschen im Geheimen gewerkelt an der Robotik und der CTO, Professor Dr. Thorsten Kröger, wird uns jetzt einen Einblick geben. So, I switch to English because he will speak in, in English. So, uh, Thorsten Krüger, CTO of Intrinsic, will give us some uh, insight of what Intrinsic is presenting here on Automatica, and I can promise you it's really exciting. So, Thorsten, please, you have 15 minutes to talk. I mean, thank you so much. Intrinsic, um, very first time at Automatica. I would like to talk to you a little bit about one, what is Intrinsic, and two, what is flow state. Starting with, with Intrinsic, and as many of, of you know, we're a software company um, as, as an Alphabet family member. Um, very first time at Automatica, very first time in the public, actually, here at Automatica in Munich. And to give you an imp impression, we, we have the, um, the, the luxury situation, I would even say, that we have a, a wonderful family of, of sister companies like Google, where we collaborate very tightly with um, the, our colleagues at Google Research, um, our colleagues at Google Cloud, um, DeepMind here in London, not too far. Then there's Google X, this is where we actually originate from. But then there are other companies that we're in very close touch with, like, like Waymo, Verily, um, obviously there's YouTube. And as many of you know, um, there are a number of fantastic ecosystems that, that we can benefit from as well. Here are just a few examples like TensorFlow, Kubernetes, um, there's, there's Android, of course. And as, as a new family member, there's, there's Intrinsic now looking at um, a new business. And looking at our mission here, our goal is to democratize the access to robotics. And the emphasis, here is, emphasis is really on, on access. So to democratize the access to, to robotics, unlock creative and economic potential of, of millions more businesses, entrepreneurs, and developers. So what, what we do believe, it's really about the, the access and how can we leverage um, machine learning, AI methods, modern software paradigms um, to help the industry at large moving forward. Now, the, the platform that, that we have been thinking of, and I'm going to talk more about flow state in, in a little bit. What we're aiming at is looking at the, the next generation of developers. And what we mean by that is, is there's a large pool of, of, of software developers that are currently not really engaged in robotics, but also people who may not have a college degree in computer science, robotics, machine learning, computer vision, and to enable them to use robotics for their domain, for their application, using application domain knowledge that, that we don't even have, that, that only they have, and we want to empower them to build new applications. As we all know, the field of AI is moving very fast. There's an enormously high pace, and it's actually accelerating. And we believe that these new machine learning methods will actually help the field to make things even easier, be it on the perception side, be it on the actuation side. In order to scale, we believe that it's very important to make hardware interoperable so that you can look at pretty much any robot embodiment and from a software perspective, support it from the ground up, starting with real-time control, so that then developers can focus on the solution. So they can cherry pick what they need on the hardware side, on the software side, to look at the application that they want to implement, that they want to solve. Our first product is, is called Flow State. And what you can see here is, is the developer front end, where you can see a number of, of things. So there's a, uh, a, um, a design tool 
with which you can basically design a, a digital twin that you can first simulate as a simulator embedded. Uh, then you have your, your 3D viewer, as you can see it here. This is actually an application that you can see in Hall B4 in the intrinsic booth. And here, just a, a few impressions how you can use it from a design perspective. But then at the same time, you have a behavior tree editor where you can, um, without writing a single line of code in many cases, at least for simple applications, can get started, implement your first applications using first party skills, first party capabilities that are provided by Intrinsic. But at the same time, if you want to do something more advanced, like implement your own skill, add your own hardware asset, at your own motion planner, you can double click on, on the skills in these behavior trees and add those as well, so that you have an, an interface for people who don't really want to program. But if you want to go really deep, you can um, write your own skills, be it in Python or in C++. Flow state is built on top of the intrinsic platform. So what, what we're offering today it's an intuitive developer experience, as you've just seen it um, on the previous slide. So it's an intuitive web-based environment that offers you everything from designing. You have a digital twin with a belief world where you can actually, during runtime, also see what is going on. You can actually see that very nicely demonstrated at the booth. And even play, uh, play with the flow state yourself. Like I mentioned already, AI tools um, are advancing very fast. So there are a number of skills that, that we're offering already today. For example, on the perception side, all you need to do is upload a CAT model. We can um, synthetically generate data on the cloud, train, train a model, download that, and you can um, use perception without writing a single line of, of code, for example, to, um, to estimate the pose of an object that you have a CAT model of, so that um, developers who are not experienced in computer vision, machine learning, or even computer science can use these modern methods without writing code. The next piece, the third piece here, infrastructure. This is obviously one of the pieces where we have benefited a lot from the, the Alphabet ecosystem. Everything we do is containerized. Um, there's a cloud connectivity. It's air-gapped, so we're not assuming that you have a permanent connection to the cloud. We're looking at um, topics like security, privacy, so that you as a user, as be it a developer or be it maybe your end customer, that you stay in control of your data. Because there may be end customers that don't want to share any data, and that is fine, so that we give the power to the developer and to the end user. Like I mentioned already, there is a real-time control framework. Um, that you can use to, to control your own robot or your own piece of hardware, be it a gripper, be it maybe a mobile robot, or any piece of accessory that you need for, for your application. And then last but not least, um, having a seamless integration of the IT world and the OT world. One thing I would like to highlight here is, as well are uh, really the pieces here at the bottom. So there's a, a lot of infrastructure being provided to you that makes the plumbing much, much easier so that you can really cherry pick the components for your application um, and offer it to, to your customer. What you can see in, in Hall B4 is a, a number of things. And I just want to highlight one piece here, which is an application that we have implemented together with Kumar, our partner. And this is an, an assembly application of a component in a plug-in hybrid vehicle. And all components, all motions that you can see here are planned online. Nothing here is pre-planned, nothing here is pre-programmed. Um, everything you see was perceived through visual perception. The insertion, progress, uh, the insertion process that you've just seen was forced torque controlled. And all of that was implemented using flow state, where you have your behavior tree editor. And what you can see at the booth in, in Hall B4 is actually a live view of the behavior tree, how this is being, being executed in a, in a fairly complex sensor-based application. Now, looking at the path ahead, we are really excited um, to also share, we have actually Brian, Brian Gerke is sitting in our audience. Um, Brian is the, the former CEO of Open Robotics. He and his team, they joined us uh, late last year in, in December. So we're also in investing a lot um, in, in the 
open source in the, in the ROS ecosystem. So just a few weeks ago, um, the, the latest release of ROS came out. And the, the plans here, not only looking at ROS, it's really ROS, Gazebo, and also open, open RMF as a fleet management tool. Uh, is to support the, uh, the open source community and to, to invest in the development of, of ROS Core. And the vision here is that over time, these, these two worlds are going to converge in, in a way that, for example, we're looking at um, unifying message formats, logging formats, so that e eventually, once you're familiar with the ROS ecosystem, the intrinsic platform, intrinsic flow state will feel very familiar to you. I'm only here speaking, speaking to you today. It's not only me who's doing all of the work. We believe we have a fantastic team. I, I believe many, looking around, many of my colleagues are sitting in the audience. So I'm only talking to you on behalf of all of them. So it's, it's, a, it's a huge, it's a fantastic team. I believe there are some names on here that are very familiar to you. Um, there's actually Wendy Tan White, our CEO. We have um, Brian here, like I mentioned. Stefan Schaal is a, a name coming from the, the field of reinforcement learning and robotics, um, Rainer Bischoff, Martin Hegel, and, and many others. If you haven't already, I would like to um, encourage all of you to take a look at our website. There's an opportunity to sign up for our beta program under um, intrinsic.ai slash beta, um, where you can get access um, to, to flow state and start playing around already starting in July, which is next month. With that, I would like to express a word of thanks to all of you for, for your time today. I think we have a few minutes for, for questions. And after that, um, Armin and Sami are going to step on stage um, for a panel discussion. Thank you all. Bühne, okay. Schick ihm, schick